today, guys, we're going to work on um, it's more of a mentality versus when you're at the baseline and at the net. So uh, bear with me. I'm going to actually take the camera and walk with um, with showing you the a, the viewpoint of what I'm talking about. But first, uh, to put it in context, we're going to pretend this ball has eyes. So, and we're going to also pretend not only does the ball have eyes, but also we're going to pretend that this is a brick wall. So you can't see through the net. So in your viewpoint, you cannot see the other side of the court. You actually have to be six foot seven to be able to see from the baseline over the net. So I'm six four, so I have to go like this just to see the other side of the net. That's a really important concept to think about because I think we have the, the a lot of us who struggle in matches don't re realize that when you're at the baseline, you rarely have an opportunity to beat somebody there because if this ball has eyes again, and it's not six foot seven above the net, right? That's why a serve is impactful. It can, it, the, the ball can actually see the court. But if it can't see the court, which right here it cannot, I have to hit up on the ball. And if I hit flat, I gotta hit really soft because gravity's gonna bring it down. That's the only thing. So I did it soft. And I have to hit with a lot of spin just to get it in, right? So I'm having, whenever someone has to hit up on the ball, I mean, the pros know this. They know better to be aggressive past the baseline. And that's why depth is so important, creating depth. You want a player to think that they should beat you from the baseline, and rarely can you, all right? So let's take a look at this when I'm gonna take the camera now, and I'm going to put it my viewpoint. So if you can, hopefully you guys can hear me okay, but the whole idea is I'm gonna start walking to the net and we're gonna pretend this ball has eyes again, right? So we're gonna walk towards the net and I want you to notice that as we get closer, you can see part of the court, all right? So when I get to basically maybe about five feet from the net, this ball ha can see almost the entire court. So I can hit a ball over there where I couldn't from the baseline. There's no way I could hit it from the baseline from there because I would have to hit up on the ball and that's a very difficult angle. But here the angle's open. I can hit down on the ball and it still goes in. So backing up. So the idea then is to consider as we back up, I'll try to get out of the way, you see less and less of the court. So this is a mindset that we have to have when you're playing. You cannot think about when you're at the baseline, you can't think about being aggressive. Just think depth. It's a it's a short ball game. When I play matches, you know, I'm playing with a guy that plays on Yale's tennis team, and you know, if I hit a short ball, game over basically. And whoever hits a short ball first loses usually. So the whole idea is depth, and and then knowing though that you cannot be aggressive at the baseline. You can only lose. So if a player, for example, plays a match and it was a baseline match, didn't come to the net, I would, I, and they won, I would argue that the player just didn't lose. They didn't win the match, they just didn't lose. Because at the baseline, you can't win a match, you can just not lose. Which means, get it in, get it in. David Ferrer, perfect example. Counter puncher, Leighton Hewitt, awesome, number one player for a while. You know, those are the players that know that they cannot hurt anybody until they get up here. And when you get comfortable back there, it gets really hard to be comfortable back in front. And that's what makes Roger Federer such a great player. Uh, the last guy he played, was he was just describing Roger and saying, he played, uh, this was at the Montreal Cup, the Cup, and he's like, the guy comes in like a freight train. And you know, so he comes in, because Roger knows he can set up a point at the baseline, but he's rarely gonna finish. He's gonna be at the net and finish points there. He can see the court, the ball that has eyes, right? Can see all the angles, and you can hit a lot more shots in and be more risky with your shots by hitting down on the ball. That's why, John, like, uh, let's say Isner. Isner's a six foot ten player. He has to throw the ball up. What if he has? If he's six foot ten and he has another reach, you know, he's throwing the ball up. He's making impact at what eight and a half, nine feet. So that that allows him to hit down on the ball, and that's why he's so effective. If he had to underhand that, you can't hit it hard, right? And I know that's obvious, but we don't think about it at the baseline. So basically, to recap, what I'm saying is, be aggressive when you come in because you see more of the court. Don't hurt yourself at the at the baseline. Work on depth. Work on cross court. Be conservative, and you'll realize you're going to win a lot more points when you know your roles in different parts of the court. So give it a shot, and hopefully that helps your game.